So as you can see, I have the help that we got from the food bank all laid out on my counter. We are so grateful for all the help that we do get. This will definitely help us stretch our monthly grocery budget in these trying times with lots of yummy, delicious food and meals. So that being said, let's hop in and I'll show you what we got. So over here, we have some Honey Nut Cheerios, which the kids will love because they love to snack on them. Plus I make cereal bars using them with peanut butter and honey. So they will love that. And then up there you see we've got two boxes of macaroni. Always helpful to make the budget stretch, that's for sure. And if you're new here, you'll learn very quickly that I love me some rice. So I appreciate getting the rice because that will help stretch meals also. And I have several awesome meal ideas coming out here soon. So stay tuned for those. We also got some more milk. So that'd be great. We are going to do some more baking uh, too as well. So keep your eyes open for that, hopefully. And then there's some apple juice for our kidlets, which they'll love. And then we got some easy oatmeal. So quick, easy uh, instant oatmeal, which is great for breakfasts. Below it, it's that time of year. So you have everybody sniffling as you hear me. Sorry, everybody. But uh, it's cold season. So as we're switching from cold to spring, we are uh, gonna have some sniffles. So having the tissue in the house is awesome. We appreciate it so much. Next to it, you're gonna see we have a bag of fries. Again, kids will love that. So that'll be awesome to put with some hot dogs or something. And then we've got a little bit of a beat up box tuna noodle helper. So they also sent cans of tuna, which I'll show you here in just a moment. So. That will make an awesome meal. Then they sent us two loaves of bread, which is awesome. Uh, saves me from having to make some for a couple of days so that I can bounce back. I got a little bit of the sniffles right now, so I'm hoping that I'll be feeling here but back to 100% again in a couple of days. Then they sent this really look nice looking pork roast here. Let me move the there. So. That's going to be a few different meals, which will be amazing. Then we got some more lettuce. So salads are in my future. Yay! That will definitely help me make, help make me feel better for sure. They sent a bag of flour and a bag of sugar. And behind that are the fixings for chili. You'll see we got chickpeas, cream style corn, tomato soup, beans, Okay, now the alfagetti, the vegetable soup, the spaghetti, and the tuna will not go in uh, chili, but there are some more diced tomatoes. So, so hubby's going to be making his chili here soon, so that will definitely come in handy for sure. Then right beside it, you see they sent some dish soap, some tomato paste, some cheese whiz, a little bit of cheese, and evaporated milk. So I'll use the evaporated milk in... Uh, my baking or for coffees then you see they sent two really nice looking peppers so I am thinking maybe stuffed peppers in our future I think I'm not sure I'm not sure if these are oranges or grapefruits I'm really not sure so I won't know until I cut into those but those will definitely help with the vitamin C we got a nice little onion and over here we have some more coffee which is perfect for us and um, everything because we always, uh, most adults these days need a little jolt of coffee in the morning, don't they? Oh, <coughs> well, pardon me, everybody. And on this, I think, hang on, let me just change hands here. I think this is a mango. Uh, I have to look it up, but I think that's a mango. So that will be definitely interesting to try. I don't think we've had fresh mango before. So I'm looking forward to that. Then they sent a banana and a coconut pudding or pie filling. So I think I'm gonna try making my hand, try my hands at making a banana cream pie because I've had a craving for one for so long now. And now that I got some banana pudding, I'm gonna try it. What do you guys think? Should I do that? Leave a comment down below. And then the jello. So kids are gonna be happy about that one too. And you'll notice under the jello, here, let me just move around again. We have these things. They are chippets, swirls. 
They're called unicorns, so they look like they swirl different colors and stuff like that. So we're going to make some cookies and see what we can do with those. Now I mentioned the um, chili, so we're probably going to use these in that, like chop them up and use them in place of one can of diced tomatoes. Uh, so that'll be awesome to add to the mix. Then you'll notice over here we have some strawberries and they're sitting on a paper towel because if you notice, one was busted at the bottom. So it was leaking everywhere. So I put it on a paper towel, but they look really, really scrumptious. I guess going to make a nice little snack uh, later on. So I'm looking forward to that. Or I might actually try something. Uh, I think you can dehydrate them and they're almost like a Twizzler. So I might do that too. And then under them... I'll just move those over there for a second. Are these really, really, really big blueberries? Like, look at those. They're like jumbo blueberries. They're huge. Like, aren't those huge? Like, talk about blueberries. I was going to make some interesting muffins or something along those lines. Or maybe I'll even dehydrate them. Huh. There's an idea. And of course, they didn't leave out Missy. They sent her some doggy food. You'll have to forgive it. It's in a, looks like a bun or sandwich bag. But nonetheless, Missy got some uh, uh, food. Then Alex will be happy because there are some baby carrots. And him and his carrots, he loves his carrots, that's for sure. Then over here, you're going to see we got four of these little mini cucumbers and one long English cucumber. So if you haven't yet, go back in my videos. I did a very easy, healthy snack um, idea with cucumbers and vinegar. And I think I'll be doing that again because I've had a craving for that too. So that'll be awesome. And I can use all of these cucumbers to make that. And then as you can see, we have some potatoes. Always nice to have because you can dice them and add them to like a sheet pan meal or you can mash them or turn them into homemade fries. Very versatile having potatoes in the house and very filling. Unless you're on a keto diet. Then, of course, you can't have them. But they're still very yummy and very thankful to have them in the house. And then last but not least, everybody will see over here to the side. Bella will be happy. We have some tubes. Her yogurt tubes. She loves these things. Alex likes them, too. But Bella loves them, so she will definitely be happy to see those. But there you guys go. There is all the help that we got this week from the food bank. We are so grateful.